Good morning, kids. It's Kendra, and I'm going to share a children's story time with you. I miss you guys and can't wait till we get back to church. But until then, we'll keep meeting like this. And um, today we're going to talk about um, Elijah. He was a prophet. And in the Old Testament, God used people, men and women, that were prophets um, to go out and tell the good word good news about the gospel. Um, back then, the kings were sinful people, and in First Kings is where we're going to be today, and those kings were worshiping other idols, and they weren't living the way they were supposed to be, and so God sent a man named Elijah to Israel and Judah to try to save the people and spread the word and he was kind of a blunt man. He would just say exactly what God told him to. And so he was going to talk to the king at that time, who was not a good man, and tell him what God said. And so we're going to just jump right in. And it says, Now Elijah went and told King Ahab, as surely as the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, the God I serve, there will be no dew or rain during the next few years until I give the word. So there was a drought coming. And we have droughts here in Oklahoma. My husband, Jason, he farms, and we need rain to make our crops grow. And sometimes there's no rain. We go through periods of drought, and the lakes get dry, and everybody's ponds dry up. And that's what a drought is. So Elijah went and told this man, hey, there's a drought coming. There's not going to be any rain. You know, your crops are going to wither up. There may not be any food. And so this is what the Lord told Elijah to do next. It says, the Lord told Elijah, go to the east and hide by this brook, this little stream or this creek, and drink from the brook and eat what the ravens, the birds, bring you. I have commanded them to bring you food. So God is in control of everything. And in the Bible, we can read where he controlled the wind. He controlled, um, you know, the earthquakes. He could make fire. He controls everything. He made everything. He can control them. So here he was commanding the birds to feed Elijah. And so it said, Elijah did as the Lord told him, and he camped beside this brook, the little stream, east of the Jordan River. The ravens brought him bread and meat each morning and evening, and he drank from the brook. But after a while, the brook dried up. So God had told him through Elijah that the rain and the waters would dry up, just like the ponds and the lakes get dry here. So this is what happened. The place Elijah was hiding ran out of water. So he told him, okay, Elijah, go and live in the village of Zarephath near the city of Sidon. I have told a widow there to feed you. So this lady whose husband had died was going to take care of him now. And so he went to this place and as he arrived, he saw a widow gathering sticks and he asked her, would you please bring me a little water in a cup? And as she was going to get it, he said, Bring me a bite of bread, too. But she said, I swear by the Lord your God, I don't have a single piece of bread left in my house. And I only have a little bit of flour and a little bit of oil left in the bottom of the jug. She made homemade bread. She didn't go to Dollar General and buy bread. They made their own bread. So she's saying, I don't have very many things to even make you any bread. And he said, don't be afraid. Go ahead and do just what you've said, but make a little bread for me first. Then use what's left to prepare a meal for yourself and your son. For this is what the Lord God says. There will always be flour and olive oil left in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain and the crops begin to grow again. So she did what Elijah told her to. So Elijah told her, don't be afraid, and she decided to believe him and do what he said. So she went in, and 
There was always enough flour and olive oil in the containers, just as the Lord promised through Elijah. So, something in the Bible that is spoken a lot is the phrase, don't be afraid. God and Jesus says that many times. And so, today... You know, you may have heard your parents talk about it and we're out of school. Some people aren't working because of this virus that's going on. But the Bible tells us don't be afraid. Even back in Elijah's time, God still told people don't be afraid. Why? Because God's in control of everything. God could command the birds to feed Elijah. He could bring the rains. He can do whatever he wants to. And he has a plan for all of us and we know that through the Bible also. So our verse today is Luke 12, 29, 31. It says, don't be worried about what to eat and what to drink. Don't worry about such things. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and God will give you everything you need. So when we're afraid, when we're worried, whatever's going on, he says, don't worry, don't be afraid. I'm in control. So what we need to do is we need to accept Jesus into our hearts. We need to pray when we're scared. We need to pray when we're worried. And God will take care of us just like he took care of Elijah and the widow and her son. So remember that today and the week coming up and the week after that. And that God's in control. We don't have to worry. We don't have to be afraid. He'll take care of us. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your word. We thank you that we don't have to be afraid of anything, Lord, that you'll take care of us and you'll give us what we need. Forgive us for all of our sins in Jesus' name. Amen. You guys have a good day.